hacked, hijacked, stolen identity, frustrated. A week and a half ago, my Facebook account was hijacked. It's happened before, but this time the takeover was complete. When I went to reset my password, Facebook emailed me a code to make sure that I was who I said I was. Been through this drill before. But this time, the email address associated with the account was no longer mine. So they couldn't send me that confirmation code. Instead, it was going to the hackers. Okay, then send it to my phone. Well, there was no phone number on my record any longer. Profile completely hijacked. I struggled all weekend to find a way to get it back. In the meantime, I'm told I'm out there bragging about being certified in cryptocurrency and building wonderful gargantuan dream homes. I had seen this takeover on a friend's account the week before, but somehow we'd laughed about it and he managed to recover his account. I'm not sure I'd want to use my old one now, even if I could recover it. Needless to say, I've gone through as many of my other web accounts as I can recall and changed innumerable passwords. I've established a new Facebook page. For as much as I don't really use it, it does afford me ways to keep track of old acquaintances and friends. I think, who knows, maybe they're not really them. So if you see Kim Damat out there with this profile pic, it's not me. It's some kid in an Eastern European country high-fiving his buddies that he got one. Just today I got a friend request from old me. No thanks. This is the profile pic of the new improved, so far unhacked Kim Damat Facebook account. I currently have far fewer friends than my old account has, but I'm open to reconnecting in my new world. It's easy to get upset, even angry. I hate it when this happens, per this month's article, Love Hate 101. But that doesn't move me down the road. That doesn't reconnect me to the social media world I'm familiar with. And spending energy being upset because my expectation isn't being met is, well, just spending energy. It's Kim. Really, really, it's Kim. And this is another moment of clarity.